Welcome, friends. We hope you're all comfortable. But don't get too damn comfortable, gents, because in just a few minutes, you'll all be arriving at the most famous little old whorehouse in Nevada. Matter of fact, some city slickers from New York City had such a time, well, they commenced to make a Broadway show about the chicken ranch. For those who may not know, we started this here operation in Texas over a hundred years ago. And we're real good at what we do. And here's a little tune from that Broadway show them slickers produced. It's just a little bitty pissant country place. Nothing much to see, no drinking allowed. We get a nice, quiet crowd, plain as it can be. It's just a pilly squatting old time country place. Nothing too high toned, just lots of goodwill and maybe one small thrill. But there's nothing dirty going on. Nothing dirty going on. Ladies, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Connie. Hi, Amanda. Hi, Penny. Hi, Ginger. Hi, Diane. Hi, Joe. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi. Which of our lovely ladies would you like to talk to? Good evening, Chicken Ranch. Well, it would be very difficult for me to quote prices. I wouldn't know what kind of party you wanted. You see, we have so many different kind of parties. Uh, if you wanted the VIP room, which we have the waterbed, the jacuzzi, the passion chair, which everybody really likes, uh, the movies, or if you just wanted to uh, party in the ladies' room where, you know, you would have your straight lay, your half and half, 69, frappes, and many, many more. Now, um, you would have to negotiate with the lady for price as well as party. You know, like time. All right, you want a certain party, how much time do you want with that party? So I wouldn't really know what kind of party you'd want. This is a small. This is a petite. Hmm. 
Men are assholes. <laughs> it's my own general idea of men. I hate them. Why Have you so ever walked into a bar and you want to get laid when you're not working and you get all tongue-tied because you're thinking of all the games he's going to try on you? Uh-huh. And then when he starts hitting on the games, you've heard him before. Uh-huh. <laughs> and you That's just want to go, you can't do come anything. on, baby, come up with a new line. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard them all. I, 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 when I wasn't working, you know, I never got laid. For seven months. I was home for six weeks, and my boyfriend was out of town, and I didn't get laid at all I for six weeks when I was I, home. It, oh, I had a bad experience. I did get laid once. It was terrible. <sighs> he didn't know what he was doing. You get tired of teaching guys how to do it. All they're That's concerned sure. about is themselves. When I left Mike, I came up here, and he knew I was going to leave him. He knew, because I, when I got the job here, I said to myself, I'm going to leave this son of a bitch. He isn't worth my time. Mm -hmm. I don't need the hassle being hit. So, you know what he does? He fucks Jill instead of me, and it's my last day with him. Oh, Can you believe this guy? I thought he was cute. My ex-old man, man, he used to beat me up really bad. I got a scar right up in here. That was my 19th birthday present, right on my birthday. He got mad because he wouldn't dance with me, so some guy asked me to dance, and my ex-old man was dancing with another chick. So I got up and danced with this other guy, and he throws a Budweiser bottle across me. He wasn't that far away, and it cut me right here. I had 48 stitches, like a scar running right there. The only thing Mike ever did to me was break my finger. Oh, I've had my, my nose knees. broken. I've had 64 stitches in the back uh, of my head. 48 in my eye. He was afraid to damage the merchandise in case I didn't make any money. Hello. Hello. Would you like to have a seat over here? On this side of the room, please. On this side of the room, please. Hello. On this side of the room, please. How are you? I'm not my friend. I'm a escort. Yeah. He's, uh, he's not going to be part of it. Just, uh, Sorry. Yeah. No problem. We'll get some coffee here in just a minute, okay? None of them speak English? Okay. Ladies, you have company. Ladies, would you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm JJ. Hi, I'm Claudia. Hi, I'm Denise. Hi, I'm Linda. Hi, I'm Connie. Hi, I'm Mandy. Hi, I'm Joey. Hi, I'm Kim. Hi, I'm Ginger. Pick a lady. <laughs> Gentlemen, tell them to each pick a lady. Pick a lady. 
あのピックアップしますとか何かちょっともらおうよバックバランで構わないと思いますこいつこいつあのお部屋に行かれるのもし何か預かるもあれば預かりますんでくじにしようじゃないかじゃあいやもう気にないですもうじゃあだってあれじゃない一緒に飲むよ一緒に飲むってここしかないいやそれはしないですあやらないできないとないじゃないはい。How long? I don't know how long. How long does it take? But it's going to take all night if they don't pick a lady. Just one time, yes. And, and you know, this is very, very bad for the girls. You know, would you tell them, please? I have a beautiful selection here, and that all they have to do is pick a lady and go to her room, and she will satisfy him. Okay. Definitely. Which one? Somebody speaks Japanese. Just a little bit. Kim. Kim? Are you Japanese? Nippon. Okasan. That's a very uncomfortable position to stay in in so long when they're not allowed to move. Nippon, welcome. There you go. You brought your buddies out here, right? What are you doing in Vegas? Gambling? Yes. What do you do? Oh, travel agent. Oh, you're a travel agent. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, really? No. It's kind of... I'm not the interpreter. Right? You're not an interpreter? You just travel, get all these groups together to bring to the United States, right? <laughs> Am I bothering you? <laughs> I have a se 70 people, Japanese. 70? Bring them yeah. out here. Bring them on out. Bring them on out. Oh, yeah. Uh huh. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, they don't have much money. Oh, oh no, no, come no. On. That's your. <laughs> they have lots of money. Yeah, yeah. 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 We, know we know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, your time is up. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs>
これやんだろうが<笑>向こうのこれだもん面目保った。<笑><笑><笑>
what the 30 year olds in their 30s they think they've got the world, the by, world by their ass, ass you know and they don't know what the hell they're doing i had a 30 year old yesterday he's a guy that was really hurting me and he's the one he was the blonde and the black t-shirt the one remember that you asked me to borrow money from oh yeah. he was 30 he I said how old are you and he well, said his, 30 the, 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 that was his friend the one that this guy, this guy was really something else. I wouldn't move my leg, and he says, well, that leg's really bothering me, and that's when I said, I'm not moving it. I said, if I move it, you're just going to ram it up there really hard, and I said, you're doing a good job of it now. He never got <laughs> off. Yeah, no but, way, Jose. <laughs> but he thought he was the best lover in the world. To tell you the truth, he was hurting me. To me, I don't like to be hurt. Pain with pleasure, I know, but I want more pleasure than pain. I don't see how any girl can get off with a trick. Once in a while, yeah. Well, now. Yeah, Linda. <laughs> yeah, Linda. <laughs> I want the doctor to come back and take the doctor. me away. <laughs> I just got to the point where, to me, to get off physically was not the matter. point. It didn't matter anymore. I wanted to get off both ways, you know. Get Talk over with. dirty to me and all that, but with a trick. I just lay there and say, <laughs> That's one thing I can't do is when they say, talk dirty to me, I go, I can't do that. <laughs> I know. Like, he, he, he said, talk or say blue tie say blue talk, is that what it is? Or talk blue or, or something like that. And I said, what? What is that? And, he's, that and he says, oh, you know, I, I mean, said, you mean talk dirty? And he said, you know, he said, yeah. But I can't do that. You know, I, I can't. Just, uh, no, especially if they tell me. No. I can't think of anything to say. That's why I had a humiliation party one time. He goes, you know, you know, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I just, it was a hard trip. I've yeah. had a few guys ask that, and I, I, I look at them, and I just ignore them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't say nothing. No, I can't talk to them dirty. Thanksgiving. Oh, yes. Gee, how nice. It's in color, too. Ooh. <laughs> I remember having one where my... Do you, do you ever drink color? Do you remember? The color? No. You don't drink color? Mm -mm. Really? I don't know. But I remember I had this dream when I was still with Mike. <clears throat> and I was running somewhere, and I don't know where to water or something, I don't know. And it felt like you just kept running and running. And running, and, and all of a sudden, he was there, you know, out of nowhere. And he chopped my head off. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I had no head. Probably well, because you guys have had it out a few times. That Probably was a it. dream of frustration. That was a weird dream. Have you ever had those dreams where bugs, you feel like bugs are crawling all over you? Have you ever had those? No. <laughs> I've had those, too. <laughs> oh, it's gross. Your whole body's covered with bugs, it feels like. All my bad dreams I've had here really are uh, some of the dates that come in. And if they disappoint me terribly, I'll have bad dreams at night. Girls, baby pills. Aspirins, vitamins, no, come on. Baby pills. baby pills, we don't need no little babies around here. Let's get your pills. 
Come on, girls, get your aspirins and your yeah. vitamins. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll take one of these. I can use one tonight. Take your vitamin C because we don't want any cold. I need some C. And maybe I'll take a couple of these. I have No, quaalude starts with Q. Oh. What have you got? <laughs> what have you got in your mouth, Linda? Uh, oh, I thought you had... I was wondering, did you have something in your mouth? Heels? I thought you had a toothache. I'm tired of having a runny nose. I'm going to run your nose. Get your pills down you and get out of here. <laughs> Only one? I need one at a time. Come on, come on, come on. That's it. Everybody got what they want here? Hello. Hello. I'm Dominique Vanier. Good morning. I am Serge. How are you? You're from France, huh? We're from from France, France, yes. Well, I don't remember ever having a French journalist over here before. We've had everybody else. No. <laughs> Australian, Japanese, English. English. Yeah, English. I have French. I think I have some. So, why don't we just sit over it's here and I'll be... Here because I have the light and I have to do some picture of you too. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Fine. All right. All right. Okay. Excuse me. Here we, we are able to keep it very clean. We don't allow drunks in the place or, or, or you know, sex. This, this is a form of love, really. How can you enjoy something so, so delicate and wonderful? As the, as the urge to promulgate a sex act uh, when you're inebriated or if you're high on dope or what have you. What we're selling here is for people in sound mind. Uh, and that is uh, enjoyment, so to speak. You know, this, this place, in my opinion, is a, is, a, is a matter of public necessity and public convenience. In many incidents, I see this by virtue of the fact that we have a, a lot of veterans who come here that lost arms and legs both, they're a basket case. What chance have they to fulfill this urge to promulgate, which is one of the strongest instincts that man has. That's why we go out here and plume ourselves and drive big automobiles and fancy clothes and build huge buildings and finer homes in a hovel to get into to get warm. That's the urge to promulgate. And these poor guys are laying there with no arms and legs. Hell, they can't even masturbate. But if they come here, they can, they can fulfill that urge on a, a periodically, and they're treated well. The girls will, will hold their cigarette and will, will talk to them. We'll, we'll treat them as if they were a whole man and have sex with them. And a the guy really has a reason to go back to that hospital and lay there another month so, uh, to, to, to stay alive so he can come back and do it all over again. Okay, now what do we have to do? I think he would like a... She would like to see the chair demonstrated. It's a sex chair. <laughs> we can get up like this here. Yeah. With a customer down here. Yeah. And we can lay the top up and down and get into different positions here. I think you're able to do like 32 positions uh -huh. on this. I haven't mastered all of them. But and, <laughs> and the girl can get back here and lean back here like this. Yeah. <laughs> and this is used for, for arms. Very good. <laughs> I just ruined my hose. <laughs> you have an old pair? Yeah. That's, right. That's okay. Usually you don't wear pantyhose when you're on this. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to get you out of here. Okay, girls. Everybody. It appears from the conversation I got this morning from the tour director that his people feel that you all are trying to run a game here as to how fast you can get them in and get them out. And that some of them, from the time they picked a girl to the time they were back in the parlor, the tour director told me was 10 minutes which is a little bit ridiculous. Now, he, he's keeping track of this, and they, we raised the price, if you've noticed, 
on the Japanese tours were getting considerably more money so that you should all net out about what sixty four dollars on those last night uh, after the plane got their twenty percent but don't send him out in ten minutes because if that continues to happen I'll have the maid set a clock on you so take a little extra time with those tours seems like most of them really had a good time because a lot of us got tips and I got a thirty dollar tip myself and they seemed to really enjoy mm -hmm. themselves. I don't think and anybody had really a tour director. Guy Listen, too. the God tour God. director, mm -hmm. he went and partied and he was partying when the first guy came out so I don't know how he knows how long the guy was staying in the room. I see. Well, I don't know why he would, uh, uh, you know, contact us today and complain. Apparently some of his people weren't all that happy. Maybe only one, I don't know. But if there was only one, they spread the word that they didn't have a good time. Might might preclude us from, you know, bringing 10 more in. And, and uh, volume is the name of the business. We have to have those customers. Customers king, you know. Ladies, would you introduce yourselves? Hello, Judge Hi, I'm Claudia. Hi, I'm Jenny. Hi, I'm Shelley. Hi, I'm Mandy. Hello, I'm Tricia. Hi, I'm Melody. Mm, which one about the ladies would you like to select? Ah, I believe it's the one in the red there. What's called focus? VIP room. It has mirrors on the ceiling, X-rated movies, a water bed, a passion chair, drinks on the house, a sauna, a shower, and a jacuzzi. How does that sound? Okay. Wonderful. Mm-hmm. Quite expensive, also. I'm hair? just a, I'm just a poor boy. Oh, I don't believe Just a yeah. poor truck driver. Well, let me tell you how much. Yeah, tell me. A thousand dollars. Oh, no, I'm not too interested in that. You're not too interested. No. Okay, well, let me tell you a little bit about what else we have, okay? Okay. Everything else would be in here, mm -hmm. okay? We have a half and half, which is a little bit of French and intercourse afterwards. Mm -hmm. Then we have a straight lay or a straight French. We have a 69. We have a cream de menthe French. We have a hot oil massage, a bubble bath. Which would you like? You can combine or just pick one. Okay, what are the prices? Well, I'll go ahead and tell me what you want, and then I'll tell you how much. Okay, how much is a straight? A straight? Mm -hmm. Well, you'd have to spend at least a few hundred. Well, get specific. I'm just a poor boy here, passing oh, through. Oh, say about four. Oh, that's more than I can afford. Well, how much can you afford? Oh, I'm down in the thirty, forty dollar cups. I could give you a half and half and a drink, and I even throw you in the shower. Mm, I can't afford that much. Oh, yes, you can. No, I don't I can't. believe you. I can't. How much more than 40 can you spend? Oh, another 5 or 10. Oh, God. <laughs> now you wish I wouldn't have picked you, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. Come on, you got to spend at least $100. I just don't have that much. Let me see. No. Come on, let me see. Why don't we count it to make sure? No. Why not? No, we can't do that. You afraid I might just grab it and No, it? this is a good, honest place. Is it? I know it is. <laughs> this is a famous place. All right. We'll make a deal for 60 but no less. Okay, and what do I get for that? A straight. For how long? 20 minutes at the most. Okay. I guess that sounds like a not too bad a deal. Let me have it. Show me your wallet. 
just the end. You're not going to get out of here with all that. <laughs> this is a good, honest place. I trust it. Sit down, sweetie. What I have to talk to you about is try to help you with something. What? You know, last week you made almost $2,000. I know that. And this week you're the same height. The you got the same way. color of eyes, same you're the same pretty girl as you was last week. And so we have to find out maybe so I can help you and you can help yourself as to why you're not booking this week. I don't know what it is. I don't either. But maybe we are maybe we all help you somewhere or other put our heads together and get you started again so that you you truly radiate confidence in yourself and and uh, a good a good feeling. I wipe my own tears off. Uh, good thing you don't have makeup on, honey. You'd have tears all I know, over. I have black <laughs> all over my face, my God. <laughs> Here, see? I don't know what it is. I don't either. You tell me. You're a man. I think that there's some little thing in your attitude that's shining through. I just don't know. And I've seen this happen to a lot of girls because I've worked a lot of girls. And uh, they come out of it. Maybe they take a f few days off or something. And they, or, you know, it's soon time for your week off. Maybe after your week off, you come back, you, you, you've had a good time, you feel good, and, and you gain confidence in yourself again. All of a sudden, you might start thinking that, God, I, I must be the ugliest girl in the world because nobody, nobody wants to pick me anymore. That isn't true. You're just as beautiful as you ever was. And I don't think anybody could deny, Connie, that you're one of the prettiest girls we've ever had here. You haven't changed. <laughs> so it must be the attitude is the only thing I can think of. So how we change your attitude, I don't know. But think about it, and I'll think about it. Okay? Okay.
that ever choked me to death. Oh, that stuff's miserable. Man, Joey and I had a fight like this last time, and she won. You ain't gonna win. I'm gonna straighten my hair. Maybe I'll make money that way, right? Yeah, that's the first thing I thought when I saw you come off the airplane, that you weren't gonna make money in that short, frizzy hair. I already knew it. Well, if I straighten it, then I can make money. I would say so. Hopefully. And if I don't make money here, I can always go somewhere else. But I don't wanna go to the Mustang. Well. And I don't want to go to the Shamrock. <laughs> and I don't want to go to Vegas. I don't think you'll have to, though. Well, if Walter's not here, I'll stay. If he's, if he's still here I'm, when I come back, I won't stay. can't handle him at all. He's worse than when we were here last time. No, I don't think so. He's on your ass this time, instead of Yeah, ass. <laughs> that's he the whole point. He was on my ass last time. <laughs> he was constantly on my ass. He said he wants to fuck me, he wants to go to bed with me, he's touching me all the time. I can't handle that man. He did not do that to me in February. The last time I was here, he kept his distance. Now he's coming up, he's grabbing me, he's touching me, he's kissing me. I, I'm just not used to that. When I was taught this business, I was taught never to f fuck a bell captain. Even with Mike, it was the same confinement. You shouldn't let him get to you, though. I know. He really just makes me explode. I can't believe it. I don't know why. I can't. I cry every time he talks to me. I know. <laughs> I start crying. I don't know why. That's what he I said must to have me a the other day. Every time I look at Connie, she starts crying. <laughs> <laughs> I must have a complex or something with that man or something. I don't, I don't think I've ever cried in front of Walter. I don't know why I do it, either. I'm beginning to wonder why I even came back to work when he makes me cry. I say, oh, I can't handle this. I've been going back and forth. Go to school, no, stay at work. Go to school, no, stay at work. Make money. Now I want to go traveling. <laughs> I don't know if I want to travel the world or go to school. But to travel, I would have to stay at work. Mm -hmm. I'm a really goofball, aren't I? <laughs> I you got to have money to do all this yep, stuff. I sure do. And I gotta make it. I'm, I'm straightening my hair, definitely. <laughs> this has gotta be the reason why. I think so. Because I smile and line up all the time and I don't get pissed. I don't understand <laughs> that. I look over at you and you have this look of hate. <laughs> I on know. Your face. Every time I look at you and line up, you kidding? You don't smile. I smiled the last two lineups. You missed <laughs> the it. The last. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> He's only at $20. He doesn't believe that the minimum is more than that, so he wants to talk to you. Okay. Oh, God. You mean I've got to go all the way back there to tell that freak that <laughs> he's not going to get anything for $20? to get anything for twenty dollars. Oh, come on. Now, hey, Vegas the price goes cheaper. Well, you run a chance of getting all kinds of diseases in Vegas, too. Our girls are inspected by doctors. Yeah, so. I, yeah, I realize that. All I want is simple head shit. Oh, not for twenty dollars. No way. Twenty dollars? Come no on. Way. No way. No. Uh-uh. I don't make the rules. I only enforce them. And there's no way That only goes so far. Nobody ever gets anything in this house for twenty dollars. Right, we're, hey. you know, we're considered one Dang, of the best nice houses. 
you know. Um, I remember you. When you come down cheaper. Well, well not as I don't remember she's... your name. Fran. Fran, my Fran. name's Buck. Well, Buck, it's nice to meet make you. Make sure you remember me. I'm sorry we can't do anything for you, but, you know, Can't. I don't make the rules. Can't. I only have to enforce them. Really on. Oh, Wait, now, look at her. Isn't she worth a lot more beautiful. than that? She's beautiful. So well. am I. So come on, let's... So then I should think you would come up with some 20, money. You're going to let a gorgeous 20, creature like this get away from you? 20 bucks for a head. Come on, you know oh, no. Man. $50 is a straight might, leg. Be... All right. And hey, that's 20 it's... minutes. It's been nice knowing you. So, I'm really sorry, but like I said, I don't right. make the rules, I only right. enforce them. Hey. Okay? Oh, you're beautiful. She's a gorgeous lady. <laughs> Let's go. We're just talking to Simple Hedge. She don't know about that. Oh, but I do. <laughs> oh, man, I got robbed. I never, I follow the rules explicitly. That's why I've been here so long. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. And I know my girls are worth a lot more than that. That's oh, yeah, I, I know it too, but should I know where you can get them cheaper? Well, $20? That's be nice. A little better than that. Uh, Diane, would you take your customer in the parlor? Maybe you'd have yeah. a cup of coffee while, or soda No, pop? I don't need to get straight down. I just wait for my buddy to get screwed, you know? You might be worth 20. God, where did they come from? Hell. Here. Vegas. Hell. Go ahead. Two at a time. Two at a time. <coughs> Go for it. You could come up with a cheaper price and you can have it. You're in the wrong place to sell it. I ain't trying to sell it. Shit, I'm just going for it. This is a Bronco outside. You know, you have to be fine. Yeah, but come on, man. Hey, I'm white. Hey, we don't even let... walk through that door as well. We're white. We don't even <laughs> let neighbors in. Yeah? That's right. Well, you ripped me off still, though. Shit. We could have ripped you off. We haven't done a thing to you. I know. It's your right. choice to come in we here, not ours. Make your money. Hey, 20 bucks for a head is good enough. Well, hey, you, why don't you hit the streets of Las Vegas instead of here if you want to pay $20? That's probably where I'm headed. Good. Good. As soon as my buddy gets ripped off. We're still ladies, you know, no matter what we do for our living. I doubt that. We don't need your insults. If you can't accept our prices, hey, we don't want to hear about it out in the parlor. You're not hearing about it. Hey, you're telling me so 15 let's bucks. Let's have coffee and tea. Let's have coffee and tea. Oh, a tea party. <laughs> How nice. <laughs> no, thank you. Shit, you love it. Oh, no. You never know. We don't like to be treated disrespectful. If you want to treat us disrespectful, you can get up and you can head out the door. <laughs> Hey, that, that's where I'm here as soon as my buddy comes out. Eh? Your buddy you is fine. You don't have to wait for your hey, buddy. Listen, okay. All right, let's call it. Hey, I didn't go for your price, so we'll leave it at that, all right? She's fine. All right. Well, buddy, old pal. <laughs> buddy, old pal. Yeah. So we're going we're gonna to go for it? Why yeah. don't you um just kind of keep quiet and we won't give you a hard time, okay? Because otherwise we'll make you stay outside and wait for your friend. <laughs> I'll wait here. It don't matter. No, it does matter. Your friend is all right, believe me. We're not going to hurt him or anything. Well, like you said, he'll pay the price, so he'll have a nice time. If he wants to pay the price, that's his... That's his own business. That's right. Mm -hmm. Jean, you and me know that. Oh, that's good. Yeah. What is it? I forgot. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. Bye.
door, please. Bye-bye. Yeah. Drive careful, boys. Oh, yeah. Especially on this road here because the cops patrol it at night and it's yeah. 45. Okay. Because Thanks, they just sit there and wait. Yeah, I've been hearing about that. Uh-huh. Right, thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Well, Thanks. We'll wait just a minute for Ray, okay? Okay, now I'm sure you're all well aware that the meeting is because of last night's little party that everybody had. What I'm gonna say isn't necessarily my views. I'm passing on to you, not the way my boss told me to, but some of what he said to say. In the first place, there was too many drinks given out. Obviously, he seemed to think everybody got smashed. I don't know if everybody did. I didn't. Well, just because I looked at you don't mean I'm accusing you. But anyway, I was informed that Dolly had a customer, and she couldn't hardly satisfy her customer because of all the screaming and yelling going on in the jacuzzi room. The customer's mind was on what was going on outside the door, and she had a very difficult time with it. He said he was very good to use by allowing you now three telephone calls instead of two, and if you just get on the phone and start talking seven, eight, and ten minutes, he'll go back to the two. The music in your rooms, he says, is much too loud. And he said, you know, I've said before, I want that music kept down or I'll make them shut it off completely. 
Okay. And this one thing I agree wholeheartedly. And I will follow this rule, and I'll expect every maid to do the same thing. The first person that I hear talking about Harold and scaring another girl in this house is going to get fined $100 by me or any other maid. Don't want to hear no more about Harold. The girls, you know, it's late, it's dark, uh, there's noises in the house, and somebody starts in about Harold, the ghost, Harold. Oh, I don't think we've met. No, uh, I've never met him either, and I'd really like to, because, you know, anybody that can live in this house, as long as that guy has lived in this house, and I worked here for a long, long time, and I've never met him yet. And I'd love to meet this guy, but I don't never want to hear anybody bring him up or scare another girl with all this Harold did this and Harold did that and I saw this and I saw that you know it's a bunch of garbage because there's no such thing as ghosts Well, we'll all miss you, I'm sure you know. But I really need to get out of here, though. I really need to get out of the business, period, because it's, uh, it's really uh, messing me up emotionally. I'm getting a very calloused heart from it. Uh huh. Does it affect you that way? Mm hmm. That's why when three weeks is up, I'm so glad to go, you know? It's ridiculous. That's why, I, I mean, like today about money, that was crazy. The way that I blew up at Carol. That's just it. That's you, you're locked up here for so long that littlest things, just little nitpick things, you just explode because you're, the tension, it, it's just, I don't know, you just become oppressed with tension after three weeks of solid work and locked up for 24 hours. You don't feel like a person. And I know I... You feel like a machine after yeah, a while. Yeah, you feel like someone's toy. Yeah. That's another thing, some of these poor suckers that come in, you know, and they, they make it so easy to be taken advantage of. Does that and bother you? Yeah, it really does. That's when you know it's time to get out. Right. That's why I, one of the reasons I, I find that anymore, instead of uh, finding myself to be a true person, I start taking advantage of people it's made so easy and I don't want that to happen to me. I don't even talk to them. They shut up. I must get all the sickos. <laughs> I just shut up. Do you? Mm -hmm. And they, they don't really say much unless they talk about this. Plus another thing, I meet mm -hmm. so many different personalities and so many people that when I do decide to maybe settle down and fall in love and have a family, it's going to be really rough for me. Seeing all this sexuality between people and everything and actually being a part of it, you can differentiate those two things, you know? And that's what's really important. Because I know I'll fall in love with somebody wonderful someday. Yeah, I was never really uh, cut out for doing this. I don't guess I took the job just out of an act of desperation more than anything. I was perfectly content, you know, as a cosmetologist and doing my makeup. I just couldn't make any money, and I was so far in debt. And plus, I'm married so young and stayed married to the same man for almost four years. And I guess this has been just such a complete change that it's really affected me greatly. How long have you been doing this? Been going on four months. Just That's since all? I've been here, yeah. Well, I think that that's the hardest part is the first part, the first step. Think it's, so? Yeah, it's kind of like walking. <laughs> first one's the hardest one to take. 
That's why now, why I still have emotions, and I still have feelings that I wanted to get out of it before I could learn to be hard and cold. You know what I mean? And not... Mm. Well, see, I'm not hard and cold always. You're not. Actually, I'm very feeling. You know what I'm saying, mm. though? Ginger? Is this Ginger? Mm -hmm. Honey, I need you. Oh, for a little? Yeah, honey. What time is it? Well, it's quarter to ten. Mm. But, mm. uh, come on, they're waiting in the parlor, Let okay? Me Two. I'm number four. I know, honey, but JJ quit and I gotta have three guys. Oh, how sad. Yeah, it is. Hate to wake you up, sweetie, but that's the way it goes. Okay. Joey? I got two in the parlor, honey. Okay? Ladies, introduce yourself. Hello, I'm John. I'm Claudia. I'm Tinja. Which one of our ladies would you like to visit with? How about the one in white? Would you follow Ginger, please? The one in the blue. Would you follow Joey, please? Uh, Are you that terribly short? Well, we'll manage because, you know. But the one thing I did want to tell you, and I'm not saying this because of reasons. I mean, this I'm s sincere. If things don't turn out for you in town, you know, keep in touch with us. Call us. Oh, I plan to. And even if I didn't want to come back, I'd keep in touch anyway. Okay. I miss you guys. <laughs> well, you know, if you ever need a friend, call me at home anytime, okay? Because I just think, I hope things work out for you. See, so many times, JJ, in the past I've heard girls, now I'm not saying this is going to happen to you. I just hope it isn't. But have been in similar situations that you're in now. And then, after they're with the guy just so long, they find out, actually, all he wanted to do was be a pimp. Now, oh. I hope I'm wrong. I hope your guy isn't like this at all. But I hoped before that the other girls, and lots of times they ended up being pimps, and then the girl got herself into a mess, and she didn't know how to get out of it. So that's why I'm saying, if, you know, if you need a friend, don't hesitate to call me. If I'm not here, call me at home. And if I can do anything to help you, I will. Because, you know, sometimes... Oh, it's on my phone again. Well, when do you think you'll be back? 
Oh, wow. I, I'll probably come back in a, in a week or two to tell everybody how I'm doing and to visit. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> you and me. Crank it up, Joe. And I had to cover it. Where's it at? There? Is that it? Carol's still looking. Just between you and me, baby, I love you. How's that? How's that? God says, see, those things are great. Did she get here, me? How's that? Great, man. That's that? groovy. Give me a hug, JJ. That's better than a hug, huh? Give me a hug now. Bye-bye. <laughs> no question. Bye. Bye. Everybody here? Tell Kim to hurry. We really do all like you, you Thank you, Ginger. Oh, Tina. Hurry. Kim, we tried to get you a day. You didn't get it. All right. Okay, girls. Everybody. We're gonna we're gonna do a little thing here that we normally do. And, and this may be a brothel, but still, quiet, everybody. This may be a brothel, but I don't think there's anybody in here that doesn't believe in God. And uh, so consequently, all of the... <laughs> all of the very nice things that have happened to us over the years, beautiful friends and a beautiful dinner, so much in plenty that we'd like to take a, just a moment and say thanks. And may God bless all of our friends and all of each and every one of you, all your families, and all the people that we hold so near and dear to our hearts. Thank God for all of these wonderful things. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Right on. Right on. <laughs> all right, let's all eat dinner. Let's make a toast. To nail them! Nail hey. to nail them. Them. Hey, Shut up. Let's make a toast to everybody that's made this holiday great. Really? And thank you for the holiday. For All right, drink up. Andy. Thanksgiving. You too, man. Walter, Carol. Everybody. Mark and John. <laughs> Ladies, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Mandy. Hi, I'm... That's right, Sissy. Hi, I'm Linda. Hi, I'm Connie. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Claudia. Hi, I'm Diane. Hi, I'm Tracy. Hi, I'm Kim. I wrote you very lovely ladies. Would you like to talk to them? How about Linda? Oh, Linda. Sorry, but I had to do that. <laughs> Happy <laughs> be Thanksgiving, folks. And <laughs>
grab my shoes. I throw them in a big, big bag I bought at Caesars. Which pair? All of them. <laughs> session jerk this piece of film I we're, we're, not gonna, we're gonna be filming something like this haven't you uh haven't you gone with your man yet she's leaving i'm well, trying she's to get leaving on my airplane now, let's cut this out i told you not to film this no don't film it and i want that piece of film i don't want this scene in your film you're not going to take this and run this on film okay Ginger in here in the plane's waiting. Ginger in the plane's waiting on you. Let's go. Fucking prick. I knew this was gonna happen. I just knew it. What's happening? Uh, Las Vegas, I need the number for Hughes Executive Air Terminal, please. He wanted to take my bags. He had dug. Okay, thank you very much. He had dug in the back there. Take him. He wanted to take my luggage outside and make me go outside with all that fucking shit and expect to get somewhere. Motherfucker wouldn't let me ride on his fucking airplane because I quit. And he fired me and I wouldn't give him the privilege. He called me a cunt. And he said he could buy just as many cunts as there is as me in this whole fucking world. That's exactly what he said. He said, I don't need you here, Mandy. I can buy as many cunts as you. I said, that's right, Walter, because you're the biggest fucking pimp in the whole world. And he says, I wouldn't doubt it. Well, why did it stop? How did it all stop? He made me give a man a jacuzzi and a VIP room party for 150 Okay, that's understandable, but it's not 150 because the plane, you deduct 20%. That's $120 that I, that I book. So I don't do that fucking shit. He can shove it up his ass. And he made me do it. And I'm never, ever in my fucking life I'm going to tear it up, and if you don't want to do as I tell you, I will stop this film at this point, and we'll tear the whole fucking thing up, and if you don't tear it up, I'll sue the shit right out of you. Now, you tell me that I can't do it. Now, I told you once, I don't want to tell you again. Nothing that has happened here this evening with Mandy is to be put on film. Mm -hmm. I want that fucking can of film, and I want it now. And otherwise, take your stuff and go. There is no film. You show her, show one goddamn thing of this, and I'll fucking sue the shit out of you. It's just a little old bitty pissant country place. Nothing much to see. No drinking allowed. We get a night. Quiet crowd, plain as it can be. It's just a pilly squatting old time country place. Nothing too high toned, just lots of goodwill and maybe one small thrill. But there's nothing dirty going on. Nothing dirty going on.